Hey yo, it's your girl Flo, back with another Mid EO. And if you're new here, hi. I hope you subscribe. So, R. Kelly's fate is now in a jury's hands after weeks of testimony in his sexual misconduct trial. A jury of seven men and five women began deliberating racketeering and sex trafficking charges against R. Kelly today, Friday, the 24th of September, 2021. Both the prosecutors and defense attorneys finished their closing arguments, and R. Kelly is accused of running a Chicago-based criminal enterprise that recruited his accusers for unwanted sex and mental torment. Here is a timeline of the witness testimonies. August 19, 2021, R. Kelly accuser describes physical abuse from the singer when she was 16. August 21st, 2021, R. Kelly's former tour manager and physician testify against the singer. August 24th, 2021, R. Kelly accuser gives emotional testimony in racketeering trial. August 26th, 2021, R. Kelly said he liked young girls. His third accuser testifies. August 27th, 2021, the third accuser shares her story for the first time. I'll never forget how he treated me. August 31st, 2021, the first male accuser testifies against R. Kelly. September 1st, 2021, witness testifies R. Kelly forced sex acts and told her, I am a legend. On September 3rd, 2021, the trial begins after years of dark rumors. 9-10-2021, a woman testifies that R. Kelly trapped her in his studio for several days and arred her. And on September 16th, 2021, R. Kelly pressed victims to please write letters absolving him, her, the prosecutors. R. Kelly is also charged with multiple violations of the Mann Act, which makes it illegal to transport anyone across state lines for any immoral purpose. Now, the prosecutors had their closing statement, their closing arguments, and the prosecutors say that their evidence proves how Kelly, along with the help of some loyal members of his entourage, used tactics from, quote unquote, the predator playbook to sexually exploit his victims. The tactics included isolating them in hotel rooms or his recording studio, subjecting them to degrading rules like making them call him daddy and shooting video recordings, some seen by the jury at trial, having sex with him and others as a means to control them, the prosecutor said. And the lady also added, the prosecutor also added, she says, he is not a genius. He's a criminal, a predator. She added that his alleged victims aren't groupies or gold diggers. They are human beings. Well, now in the closing argument statement for the defense, R. Kelly's defense attorney, Devereaux Canick, told the jury that testimony by several accusers was full of lies and that the government let them lie. Canick argued that there is no evidence of Kelly's accusers have ever had or ever been forced to do anything at all against their will. Instead, Canick said that R. Kelly's girlfriend stuck around because he spoiled them. He spoiled them with free air travel, shopping sprees, fancy dinners. He gave them a lavish lifestyle, he said. That is not what a predator is supposed to do. So again, the jury is deliberating right now as we speak. So I want to know what you guys think. Is R. Kelly guilty or is he innocent? Comment your opinion down below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because I'm going to let you guys know the verdict very shortly. So make sure you guys have your notifications turned on 
when you subscribe so that way um, you can get the breaking news when it comes. Thank you for watching and subscribe to stay in the know. Peace.